Hi there everyone, welcome back. My name's Chris. Today's gear video, we're gonna be taking a look at the combat shirt from LBX Tactical. Now, LBX are quite an interesting company. I think they are essentially the sort of the design smarts, as it were, from London Bridge Trading. Uh, and they've used that sort of design know-how, uh, but got the actual stuff produced outside of the US, whereas actual LBT is made in the States. Um, LBX is made, uh, well, in this particular case in Peru. Um, and they use slightly cheaper materials, but the, the price is a lot, lot lower. Um, they, they managed to do stuff for a very good price. So for this sort of sporting airsoft market, Milsim, all that stuff, um, it's, a, it's a really good option. And the, the good thing is the design and is still there, you know, the, the intelligence, the design and the quality is actually very good. It's not actually necessarily much more expensive than some of the really cheap Chinese stuff, but the, the quality is quite a lot higher and the, the, the quality checking and assurance and stuff is quite a bit higher. So we'll take a look at the shirt here. Um, what they've done is when they came out with this, this uniform of theirs, um, they, they do a shirt and a trouser. They've been doing it for a little while now, a year or two, I think. And they've basically seen a, a niche in that market for sort of a good quality, middle range sort of price, low to mid range price uh, uniform set that gives you the sort of combat cut, cry style-ish. Um, for a good price, good quality, just suits that sporting market very well. So you've got a, a decent collar on it, um, about the right size, not too much so that it's going to irritate under your chin, but it's going to pre prevent that, um, that chafing from slings and uh, shoulder straps on your, your vest or plate carrier. You've got a decent quality uh, zip, it's actually a YKK zip, so that's very good, colour matched. Uh, and then you've got a nice little paracord pull on it, so that's going to be handy for when it's cold. You've got thick gloves on. You've got a reinforcement down at the base of the zip, so that's going to stop uh, potentially. Um, and that, that area is one, because of the, the thinner, weaker material in the body, you've got that nice reinforcement. So the zip portion where they've cut it isn't going to be as vulnerable to tearing straight down the center. You've got a jersey knit in the center, color matched, as you can see. Obviously, this is Ranger Green and the comparing it next to some cry stuff I've got on Rager Green, it's pretty much bob on this, like color wise, it's a really good match. So that's quite impressive. So you've got your jersey knit in the, the center. It's, it's a decent weight. It's not too thin that you think it's just gonna rip at the slightest sign of anything abrasive, um, but it's not uh, compared to say the proper Taku combat shirt, which is horrendously thick and way too hot in the summer. It's, it's, you know, it's gonna be decent under a plate carrier in the hot weather. The sleeves and the collar are a 65, 35 uh, poly cotton. Um, obviously more expensive brands use a 50, 50 nylon cotton. So that's, you know, one area they save the money. But for, for that, like I say, that sporting use, it's, it's gonna be fine. Um, you're not gonna have a problem with that. Just, uh, just don't get in any, uh, you know, blasts of flame because then it will melt to you like, you know, really easy. Uh, but if you just use it for airsoft, I think it'll be all right. Sleeves, first feature you come across, obviously the arm pocket stand. They've done a nice job on these. The actual cut layout of them is good. You've got your upper area that's about the right size for a flag. And then you've got a nice field for all, all your cool fucking morale patches. You can access through the side, decent size little pocket there with another YKK zip, which is really good to see actually for the price. And then Velcro closure. And again, so you've, you've essentially got two pockets there on the sleeve, so you can actually store quite a bit of kit. Same on each side. They've actually put in drainage grommets, sewn those in, which again, um, for the money is really good, and it's pleated, it's got a billow on this side, so it can expand out the, the, uh, the one that opens with the zipper, especially you've got good access. And obviously with that zip being where it is, you can just access it really easily. Um, sometimes getting in like that can be a bit difficult, but going in from the side, nice and easy to do they haven't reinforced the elbows which is a slight downside a lot of um or well, most higher end combat shirts the uh the elbow area back there will have at least a double layer of fabric if not um, some option for adding either an inter internal foam uh elbow pad or obviously like on the older cry shirts and stuff you had your your elbow cap plastic um and then you've got standard velcro adjustable cuff so you can open it right out or tighten it right down, depending on your, your actual wrist size, what equipment you've got on your arms and the, uh, the weather conditions. Should roll up quite easily as well for, uh, for when it is really hot. Cover the materials, the stitching, um, you know, I, I, again, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, 
We've got bar tacks on some of the corners here, on some stress points. It's all like, uh, we've got double stitching along all these seams here. On the inside, it's flat lock stitched, so it's not gonna, not gonna chafe and wear against your skin. Um, same thing with the hem down here. It's, uh, it's not, you know, it's not 100% perfect, like you know like you might get if you were spending a lot more money but it's it's really close and uh and it's certainly more than adequate for the task so i'd say overall highly recommend it uh just from my initial impressions i wasn't quite sure what i would get with lbx but i wanted to see what they were like i wanted a range of green combat shirt price is very good uh, if you're in the states yeah, lbxtactical.com uh, I'll put the exact URL down in the description box. There's discount codes out there if you follow like um, Spartan Layer or uh, Spartan 117GW, they got discount codes, you can get like 20% off and it's already a pretty cheap shirt. It's around the 70 bucks region and then you can get a discount so it takes it down even less. Uh, unfortunately in Britain you just swap the dollar sign for a pound sign pretty much so we're paying more but uh, if, you, if you're in the UK or I think generally if you're in Europe uh, Huey's, uh, that's where I ordered this from, excellent customer service from them, dispatched like the, the morning after I ordered them in the, placed the order in the evening, dispatched the next morning, uh, I paid for like the cheaper shipping and it, it was like the day after that, uh, it was here, like two days for postage, um, can't knock that at all, definitely recommend Huey's, uh, they were always very helpful if you ask them many questions about the kit they stock, if you, you know, on, go on their Facebook page. Uh, LBX themselves, they have Facebook and Instagram and blah blah blah, so you can get more info. And uh, yeah, um, uh, I think for, for that for that sporting market, guys, definitely a very very strong contender. Comes in green, tan, grey, which is very good. Um, there's the multicam, their Project Honor, and there's a sort of AOR one thing they call inland Taipan. So you've got a good range of options. Uh, haven't checked out the trousers yet, but I may do further down the line because they look pretty good as well but I think the shirt is an especially good option um, very strongly worth considering much better than a lot of the Chinese clone crap and uh, yeah links in the description um, Facebook Instagram for, for my page if you want to keep up on the videos more content pretty much daily on there check those out guys uh, swing by and uh, yeah thanks for watching hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed I'll see you next time